It ought to be founded on mutual recognition of two liberties. The lovers would then experience themselves as both self and other. Neither would give up transcendence. Neither would be mutilated. Together, they would manifest values and aims in the world. For the one and the other, love would be a revelation of self by the gift of self and enrichment of the world. I think that's one of the most beautiful things I've right? So when I've read that, that gives me hope. That says that there's a love that's possible between two liberties between two people who enhance each other and let each other be free. Um, and she doesn't seem to think that this is something that often happens in marriage, yeah, um, exactly. which may be the case <laughs> that why she doesn't marry her partner. And the last thing I have for you in this little thing, this poem that I think beautifully encapsulates her notion of love. 